Oxford Direct Services and Oxford City Council really would like to uh, lead by example in the, uh, the fight towards decarbonising fleets across the city. We are trying to increase as much of our fleet as we can to electric as quickly as we can. We're about 325 vehicles, of which about 53 of those at the moment are electric. Energy Super Hub Oxford have actually helped us ramp that number up. Um, with funding, we're hoping by 2022 that we should have at least 25% of the fleet as electric. Oh, I've had the bin lorry for about a, nearly a year now. The electric bin lorry is brilliant to drive, very quiet, very economical, really good in the centre of Oxford. The diesel bin lorries that we have on fleet are by far the highest fuel consumers. Uh, they have an MPG of around five. An electric bin lorry obviously has no fuel consumption. So this is a significant improvement on our fuel reductions, our air quality and our emissions contributions. Regarding my work routine, I haven't had to uh, alter anything. Once finishing the round, after we've tipped, we come into ODS. We've got a designated parking area that we can actually charge our lorry. We put it on charge overnight and then in the morning it's up to 100%. We normally use about half a tank, 40 to 50 miles in radius, driving around the centre and getting to Cullum and coming back again after tipping. The bin lorries do require considerably higher amounts of power than a typical electric vehicle. It requires three-phase power. We've managed to put that into the depot for at least a few vehicles, but the challenge will be to actually increase the full fleet going forward and, and provide those power requirements for them. The reaction from the members of the public have been, wow, because they can't hear us coming up or driving past. You normally get cars or scooters, but not as advanced as a dust car. Anyone thinking of switching to an electric vehicle, I'd recommend it, yeah, all the time. I'd like to see a lot more greener travel, more efficient travel, but I think the key word is probably actually about mobility. It's finding uh, more efficient ways of, of moving people, goods, services around that doesn't necessarily have to involve transport, um, but where it should, then uh, any sort of improvements in alternative fuel technologies uh, on those vehicles will be a blessing.